In the verdant forests of Yolix, a land ravaged by ceaseless conflict, the peaceful existence of the Wood Elves was shattered by the brutal state of war. This realm was a battleground, constantly besieged by hordes of monsters, tribes of orcs, goblins, and other vile creatures emerging from the Underdark. Kirin Morley was born into this world of chaos and despair, his life beginning in a dank goblin camp where his parents had been captured during a violent raid. His father, a skilled hunter, and his mother, a healer with a soothing touch, were now shadows of their former selves, forced to toil for their captors. Zia, his older sister, only five years old at the time of their capture, took it upon herself to shield her younger brother from the harsh realities of their new life, nurturing him with stories of freedom and hope. It's okay, Kieran. I'm here. Those monsters can't get to you as long as I'm around. Remember our stories? The brave heroes always find a way to defeat the darkness. As the years unfurled in that grim camp, Kirin grew into a keen observer, his emerald eyes absorbing every detail, the flicker of a goblin's gaze, the sound of rustling leaves beyond the camp, and the subtle cues of the other elves' spirits flickering like dying embers. Kirin, look at me. You have to be brave. Just because they're bigger, that doesn't mean they're stronger. You have the heart of a warrior. You can outsmart them. We're going to get out of here one day. And you'll help lead us. One day, we'll be free. We'll live in the woods with the trees and the animals. And we'll be able to laugh and play without fear. I promise you that, little brother. Just hold on to that dream. And we'll make it real. Zia, now a spirited and protective young woman of 20, became his anchor, sharing dreams of escape and a life beyond the suffocating confines of their captivity. At age 15, as the war raged on and hope flickered dimly, Kirin and Zia devised a daring plan for escape. They carefully observed the goblin guards, noting their patterns and weaknesses and enlisted the help of Moen, Kirin's best friend who had grown up alongside him and Zia in the camp. You know, I heard one of the goblins talking about a secret stash of food. If we find it, we can have a feast, just you and me. We could be heroes in our own story. There was an unspoken trust between the trio, a bond forged in shared suffering and dreams of freedom. See those? They're safe to eat. You must learn to find food, Kirin. We can't always rely on the goblins to feed us. Hey, what about me? I, I can learn too. I'm just as good as Kirin, you know. Don't forget that I'm a part of this too. The night before their escape was fraught with tension, but hope glimmered in their hearts. Tomorrow is it, Kirin. We're finally going to break free. Just remember, if things go wrong, don't hesitate. We have to look out for ourselves first. It's every elf for himself in this world. Just before they fell asleep, Zia turned to Kirin, her eyes shining with determination. Tomorrow is our chance, Kirin. No more hiding. We've waited long enough. You remember everything I taught you, right? You're smarter than you know. Together, We'll make it out. Just focus on what we've practiced. The following night, as the escape unfolded, the trio navigated the labyrinthine paths of the camp, avoiding detection as they neared the forest's edge. Just as they began to believe they might taste freedom, chaos erupted. Goblins 
alerted by an unseen force, descended upon the camp, hunting the fleeing elves with a predatory zeal. In the midst of the turmoil, Kieran and Zia searched frantically for their parents, but the shadows of chaos swallowed them whole. The moment turned tragic when Zia was struck by a volley of arrows, the sharp projectiles piercing the night and her flesh. She fell into Kieran's arms, a warm blood seeping into his skin, a stark reminder of the fragility of life. She gasped, her voice barely above a whisper, filled with both strength and resignation. You must live, Kieran. You must find our parents. Desperate and heartbroken, Kieran clung to her, but the world around him was collapsing. Moen, who had promised to protect them, suddenly revealed his true colors. Instead of helping, he stepped back, a smirk twisting his features. Kieran's heart sank as the realization struck him like a thunderclap. What are you doing? Zia's hurt. You're supposed to be our friend. Kieran pleaded, desperation lacing his voice. Moen shrugged, a cruel glint in his eyes. Friends, you were a liability. You and your sister were always dreaming of freedom, while I was stuck here, watching. He sneered. I've seen the way the goblins reward loyalty, and I won my share. You were just a means to an end. This is survival, Kieran. You should have known better. Zia, struggling to stay conscious, glared at Moen with defiance. Think this is survival? You're a coward, Mohan. You'll never find peace betraying those who trusted you. Moen's expression hardened. Peace? I'll have power, and that's what matters. You think I care about your dreams? This is the real world, Zia. Only the strong survive. In a blind rage, Kieran lunged at Moen, but the friend turned foe was quick. With a burning torch in hand, Moen swung it at Kieran, the flames licking his cheek and leaving a permanent scar, a branding of betrayal and pain. You bastard, Moen! Enjoy the pain, Kieran. You'll remember this night every time you look in the mirror. Moen taunted, relishing the moment. Surrounded by the goblin guards, Kieran felt the weight of helplessness crushing. He could only cower next to Zia, watching her strength fade as the darkness closed in. You must live, Kieran. Zia urged, her voice a fading echo of encouragement. Don't let this monster win! With tears streaming down his face, Kieran made the hardest decision of his life. He ran. Propelled by the instinct to survive, not knowing if his sister was alive or dead, nor the fate of his parents, as he fled into the depths of the forest, the echoes of laughter and the warmth of family memories haunted him. For five long years, from ages 15 to 20, Kieran struggled to survive alone in the wilderness. Living in poverty, he learned to navigate the treacherous terrain of Yolix, foraging for berries and whatever sustenance he could scavenge. Communication, one second nature, became a challenge as he grew more isolated, relying on instinct and observation to navigate a world filled with danger. Moving throughout the state, he heard whispers of a place called Thar, where opportunities lay for those willing to take risks. Rumors reached him of a potential job in Porster, the capital, specifically in El Volo, where he could earn enough to feed himself and perhaps build a new life. These tales ignited a spark of hope within him, driving him to venture into the unknown. Kieran's escape marked the beginning of a painful journey filled with grief, anger, and the desperate search for truth. He would spend years wandering the wilderness, honing his skills as a fighter and a survivor, driven by a burning desire for vengeance against Moan and the goblins who had stolen everything from him. The scars of that fateful night would shape Kirin into a formidable warrior, 
but they would also serve as a reminder of the cost of betrayal and the fragility of hope. With every step he took, Kirin vowed to uncover the truth about his sister and parents, to seek justice for the fallen, and to reclaim the life that was so cruelly stripped away from him. His journey would not only be about survival, but also about the search for belonging and understanding in a world that had turned its back on him. How's everybody doing? My name's Karuti, and I'm going to be playing Kieran Morley in our Magic of Iacrest campaign. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this small trailer that I had for him, and big thanks to all the voice actors that were a part of this. All their links are going to be in the description down below. For those of you who don't know, we have a D&D campaign every Friday on 6.30 Eastern Time. Magic of Iacrest, where six of us are now on a big old quest to who knows what we're going to do. It's our first time playing D&D, and it's going to be an absolute blast. With this backstory, you get a little bit of an understanding about who Kieran is, and how he'll be within the campaign. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with his character, and I want to hear what you guys think about this little trailer. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.